Hello everybody, Ratchetbukaba here, back for another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And today we're just doing a little bit of a casual round. It's probably going to be pretty quick because we are playing on King of the Hill, Sweden, and as most of you know, Sweden does go pretty fast. And I am absolutely loving this map. Oh my goodness, it is probably the best thing that has happened in the Gunmetal update. I really, really enjoy it. Getting shot by snipers. Really enjoying that too. But most importantly, I'm getting just absolutely bombarded by all these scouts going over here. I tried to stop them halfway, but they're a little bit too good, so... Anyways. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the changes to the game ever since the Gunmetal update. A little bit more constructively, now that it's been out for a while. And, uh, just talk about what my hiatus has been about, because I have not been making videos for about a week. And it's not because I'm lazy. It Well, mostly. It's not because I'm lazy. It's because I simply have not really had a lot of uh, ability to speak, which is kind of, uh, kind of a big deal when it comes to gameplay commentaries. Gonna take out this mini-sentry. Hate him! Still annoying, no matter how, uh, no matter how many you have to deal with. Jesus. Anyways, what do I say? What, what I was saying. Um, I've been liking the Gunmetal Update a lot. Um, again, Sweden is probably the prettiest thing that's come out of it, besides this amazing bovine blaze maker. So, uh, the theme for this video today is that we're going to be having an absolute cow with this thing. Uh, just going to be air blasting Demonites right off the cliff. He has got nothing. He's, there's nothing you can do about a mad cow coming at you with that thing. But, uh, I'm not going to be having this for very long, because I promised a friend that I would trade it to them. And I am a man of my word, so... Uh, until Thursday, when it becomes tradable, we are going to be trying to uh, milk uh, the time we have with this. We're going to be trying to set all the people on fire, and joining our pyro friends in doing so, so... Anyways, uh, things I really like about this map in particular, and reasons why I feel like it should stay in the game even after the update is over, because I heard that they're going to be taking out all of the maps, uh, except for Powerhouse after this update's over, which I think is a great mistake. I honestly really, really love these maps. I love Snowplow, I love uh, Swegen, of course, and I love that third one that I forgot about because it's not as good as uh, Snowplow and Swegen. I honestly really like the mechanics for uh, Snowplow, and I love the aesthetics of Swegen, and it offers a lot in just a tiny map. It's kind of a small map, but it has wide corridors, it's got uh, two levels to the main control point, and it has water, which is it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it makes playing a little bit more fun, especially when you have weapons like the Neon Annihilator. Like, this weapon would never be useful on any other map if they could have easily not put the water under these bridges, but they did, and so now you can possibly, potentially, use the Neon Annihilator with this. But... <laughs> and secondly, uh, you got these long quarters, you can just, you can just spam all of these, uh, all these beautiful little uh, flare shots down there if you wanted to. Get this engineer, he's on fire, he wants to come down here, he's not going to want to come down here anymore because we got him right in the face with the Neon Alina later. And, you know, sometimes you just got to step down from uh, from the glorious high high spot of life. So, getting backstabbed by a spicicle. It's no big deal. I do have some criticisms about this update. Um, honestly, every single other skin for for weapons that I've seen, I don't I don't care about them too much. Not even the powerhouse one. I mean, or the uh, the one that's themed around electricity. I forgot the name of it right now, but not even that one is honestly as aesthetically pleasing. The best thing to come out of this update is the bovine blazemaker, without a doubt. Not gonna be making that today, buddy. No siree. No siree. No siree, Bob. There you go. God, it happens every time. No, <laughs> they don't want me to have this. They do not want me to have this, but as I was saying, uh, I'm not really enjoying the skins too much. The only one that I like is the Bowman Blazemaker, and everything else can just go and uh, not exist as, long, as far as I care, so... I don't think that the skins are that big of a deal. The contracts are fun to fulfill, but the reward is just not that great. Um, but honestly, I feel like the maps make up for it, but it's not going to really matter so much when the skins are going to be staying in the game and not the maps, apparently. So, uh, honestly, I just sincerely hope that they keep all the maps in this game, because they are all just so fun to play with. Snowplow is probably the most fun I've had playing TF2 in a while. It's such a simple but different mechanic that... I really enjoy it being in the game, and I hope it stays. I cannot stress that enough. I just really hope it stays in there. But anyways, 
Aside from that, the gunmetal update has been pretty nice. I mostly enjoy the fact that we're able to fulfill some contracts, do something a little bit different, have a reason to play the game besides just for funsies. So, I mean, we can fulfill the contracts and have a lot of extra time to enjoy the game. Can't possibly hit guys, so gotta keep that. Bovine Blazemaker out, Mad Cow, move out the way. That was an intended pun. I'm sorry about that, by the way. It was so awful. You're a spy. You definitely are a spy. Do not, you're, you're not, you're not get, okay, he's got away, but let's uh, make our way out of there so we don't die of terrible, tragic death. So. Anyways. I can't take half the credit for uh, the wool way we're doing right now, honestly, because we're doing pretty good. Besides the fact that they just kept the point. They just kept the point. Oh my god. I can't... There's so many spies. I can't possibly f put them all on fire. It's crazy. It's a crazy world out there. Another spy. Got so many spies. But anyways, um, I guess while we are wrapping up this video, I should talk about the hiatus that I took. Um, I had my wisdom teeth pulled out, um, and it was not fun. I wanted to make a kind of funny video like, oh, look, I can't talk. I, uh, my, my mouth feels like I've just ingested 5,000 cotton balls. But no, unfortunately, when I tried to make that video, uh, I, was just, I was just way too swollen. My cheeks would not allow me to talk. I was going to make it a joke where I was going to have the subtitles of what I was saying show up at the bottom so that you could at least tell what I was saying. But when I went back to edit it together, I couldn't even tell what I was saying. It was so muffled. So... That ended up not being much of a of a funny video, so I ended up deleting all that footage. It, I didn't even really play that well anyways. This guy's a spy? Are you kidding me? How many spies, man? I love it. I love it. It gives me stuff to do. Oh, they're gonna cap. I think. Uh, we might have to do one more round. You know how much I don't like ending on uh, losses, so... But anyways, yeah, my, my wisdom teeth got yanked out. They yanked out all four. It was bloody. It was gross. I felt gross, so I had to take a little bit of a break from TF2 commentaries because there is a lot of talking in those things. So I needed to take that time to recuperate, to recover. And now I'm back, ready to uh, show off the beautiful beauty. <laughs> so good. Anyways, uh, we're going over here. Can't let this engineer build anything. I hate him. I hate him as a person. He's probably a nice guy. But I hate him. So. This is going to be uh, dropping any of the topical stuff. And just... We're going to start playing the game. Mostly focusing on the gameplay at hand. Because we almost came pretty close to a victory last round. And I really want that to be this round. Getting body shot. I I could dodge it. I can't. He's just too good. He's too good of a body shotter. That's okay. All right, one of you's got to be a spy. If there's gonna, if there's like three or more, if there's at least two teammates next to me, I'm have to spy check them because they're all probably spies. Get out of here! No, 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 no. I can, I can hold mouse one all day. You underestimate my ability to hold mouse one. You too. <laughs> Where are the teammates at, man? Got all these FaZe Clan individuals trying to be MLG Pro on us. They're never, they're not gonna win. They're not gonna, never gonna win. Got this guy. All right, you a spy? No. Got the laggiest scout in the history of time and space. But we do not have the methods of winning under our belt right now. Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, one person died. Thank you. Two people died. That was nice. You two. Not letting you win. Okay, how are we losing to these guys? Seriously? Can we please cap the point? Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Academy for this one. Hey! No, he's not a spy. That guy's definitely not a spy. It's just a box. Why would you shoot boxes? God damn. You know, one change that I really would have wanted to see to some of the weapons after all these changes is uh, 
they should have made the pain train applicable to pyro because I think the pyro could definitely use a times two cap speed without it feeling OP. I don't think that would be overpowered. Honestly, like I guess maybe in essence because pyro is such a good defender of points with you know the fire and the whoosh and everything. But other than that, I think uh, payload maps would be really good for it because I really I really enjoy the uh, the pain train. I, I like using it on the soldier and. Uh, and the demo man as often as I can because it just makes you even more viable. Uh, the weapon, I mean, the bullet resistance going down would actually be a pretty good trade off for the pyro because if you make them that squishy, then I think it'd be really fun to just transfer over the effects of that weapon over to pyro. And other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with all the changes. Now, mini sentries aren't even as annoying as they used to be, which is always nice, but oh boy. I don't know if I can remember how to air blast. I couldn't. Uh, right clicking is a very difficult concept for me to grasp, but luckily we have this scout. He's a cow. Is that on our side? Yes. Okay, it's on our left side. I think they took it out already. No. Okay, we'll take it out ourselves. Anyways, uh, all the other changes are pretty good. Uh, I specific. I especially like the liberty launchers change. I think it's really nice. Uh, I feel like the Liberty Launcher might actually be fun to use now, so I might actually do a video on that sooner or later because now you can now if you pair that with the the gunboats, literally there's no reason to not rocket jump. You do so little damage to yourself. It's essentially having a rocket jumper that doesn't hurt you. So that is definitely a fun concept for me. I don't know if it is for you. Hopefully it is. Let's uh, God. He doesn't want to. Sh he doesn't shoot when I want him to. Get out of here! Get out of here! I'm out! I'm outy! Oh please, please, please! Oh my God! Was he a spy? For some reason, I didn't think that the two engineers with the exact same cosmetics was a suspicious thing. But now I know it's a suspicious thing. Uh, I'm gonna change the power jack. I need some speed. I would survive that had I had the speed. Anyways. Oh man, I think if we lose this round, we're gonna have to just call it quits. We gotta call our losses. Just gotta admit when uh, we've been beaten. But hopefully that won't be the case. We have the uh, we actually have the team on here, so I think we'll be fine. This guy is really good at shooting me with a shotgun. Oh, of course. It makes so much sense. Why else would that happen? None of my teammates like turning around. But, anyways. That's okay. They're doing good. They kept the point. I'm proud of them. I'm just a little flustered because we are not having... I'm having a cow, honestly, right now. Which is kind of the point, but I just really don't want that mini sentry to be there anymore. Ah, I can't air blast any of them. I promise I'm pretty okay at that. But it's just been utterly... Utterly... It's it's been it's been hard for me to focus on uh, air blasting when I've been playing so many other classes with all these contracts to fulfill. So I have not really been on my A game. This is mostly just a casual commentary, after all. Uh, if he shoots one more at me, though, I could probably reflect it. No, I'm way too early. Please. All right, let's not let's not just take it. Let's not just take it and, and lose. We need to win. Where are these spies coming from? They're dropping out of the sky. They are parasailing. I feel as though the base jumper has probably been able to uh, been applicable to spy now. So, anyways, unfortunately, I think that's going to be the end of the commentary. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry it wasn't as uh, amazing as I wanted it to be, but looks like uh, gotta call it quits. So. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good one.